Good morning, my lovely sisters. Um, hashtag no filter, lol, just kidding, this is definitely a filter. Um, I just wanted to, by the way, I have like an ongoing joke with my friends. When I put hashtag no filter and there's clearly a filter, it's just like a funny thing that we do. Anyways, I wanted to try to make more videos like this this year. It's just about things that I've learned in my life. I don't know. I feel like I'm an older sister to a lot of people uh, that follow me on YouTube or just on here. And so I'd like to just say words of advice or wisdom as good older sisters do. So some advice. Sometimes your mom, your sisters, your closest friends can give you advice and you just can't take it. But the second you hear it from... <laughs> A stranger or like someone you don't personally know you're like hmm for some reason we're just like that I don't know why okay something that I've learned sometimes if you are continuously offended by everything a certain person does says wears posts buys for their house literally anything I'm just personal experience for my thing it could be anything and it's probably different things for different age groups if you find yourself always offended by one particular person most likely the problem is not that person the problem is going to be you you are that problem so usually that problem is you so i'm making this video on instagram so i have only like a certain amount of time to make these videos so you should probably stop and be like, hmm, so I'm the problem, and admit that. And you have to humble yourself, you can't have pride in order to admit that you're wrong. And you need to ask God to help you. Help me to see that person like how I would view somebody in my family. Because you, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, they could kill somebody. And you're like, but they're a good person. <laughs> I know who they really are deep down and they're not a bad person and you give them so much grace and you give them like so much mercy more than so much not even it's not even it doesn't matter like you love them no matter what if they're your family or your super close so friends just ask God to that person that you feel so against for whatever reason there's a multiple multiple reasons why someone could offend you all the time and I'm not saying you're like a horrible person we've all been there we all have done that i'm just this is your like hey go into this year and try not to be like that listen there's there's like okay i'm gonna take this person out of my life because they're not good for it totally understandable but sometimes god is trying to work something out of you and that is the most important thing you being right your soul being saved you going to heaven you being right with god as a christian as an apostolic pentecostal young lady that should be your one desire and hope making it to heaven being right in your spirit so yes you have to humble yourself you have to say okay what is it that god is trying to take out of me because if you view somebody like that something's in you that God is trying to work out maybe he's trying to work in more love more mercy I don't know but there's something in there that God had so much love in himself to see it to send you this problem to send you this issue to send you this Ugh, I'm so offended at this person all that you have to see that there's a problem in you and then accept it and face it and be like wow god you have so much mercy on me that you sent this problem to show me this situation this issue to show me that i have a problem and i need to work on it and i need to get i need to work this out and if you've been raised in church all your life like me or even if you haven't you'll hear people in the church say like oh trials make you stronger you know because of that trial i'm stronger and when you're younger you're just like you don't really get it but the older you get, the more you realize, like, oh, yeah, that trial really did show what was wrong with me and worked it out of me. And because of that, 
because of that crazy situation, because of that heartbreak, because of that trial that happened between my parents, because of all that, it has made me stronger. It has made me trust God more. And it's up to you to be in the middle of that trial and to call out to God, to invite God into your trial, to invite God into your heartbreak, to invite God into the chaos that's happening in your life. It's up to you. And I'm encouraging you to do that this so, year. Anyways, I just wanted to, sometimes I just feel like talking and a lot of times I have a lot of thoughts in my head <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just gonna make a video just cause I don't know, cause if it could even help one person then I really, really wanna help you. And sometimes you're so offended and you don't like somebody so much. Everything they do bothers you. And they have no idea. They have no idea until you open your mouth and say something. And then the person on that side could just be like, okay, you know? So there's also the other side of this. Like, if anything you do offends and hurts and irritates somebody, like, love yourself enough, have enough confidence within yourself to not let that get you down and to be like I love you even though you talk about me even though you hate me even though you despise me for whatever reason I'm still not gonna hate you and I'm still gonna pray for you so like I was saying hopefully you go into this year and uh, take like my pastor's wife always says she says take that that mirror or and put it on yourself or take that take that yeah turn that mirror that you're putting on everybody else and face it to yourself and so that God could show you what's wrong with you. And um, you have to humble yourself. You can't have pride. You have to say, yeah. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry how to say it. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, this year, 2023, you lay aside that spirit and you show God's love. You be light in darkness. Remember, everybody in me is fighting a hard battle you know nothing about. Show God's love. Be light in darkness. Remember to live in strength and walk in dignity. I love y'all.